everybody? Just about mailbag time. Just trying to get the kittens engaged in here. Seems like they are at the moment, but I don't know if it'll last. They were just settling down for a nap before we started mailbag because they've been playing all morning. So we've got a little bit of energy left, but probably not a lot. I expect them to be kind of sleepy for this, and that's okay. And right in front of the camera. Come on, kids. find these headphones after mail, but I don't know if they're someplace smart. That's, that's fine. I'll see them over there. Okay. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, is it time? It's close enough to time. Thanks for joining us for Mailbag again this morning. Uh, what's news this week? Oh, uh, well, the most important news, and I don't know if everybody's heard this, is uh, last Saturday we said maybe there would be a bobcat coming today. And unfortunately, the news is there's not. There's not going to be a mom cat today. Uh, sorry to disappoint if you were hanging on since last week for that. Um, but uh, um, it turns out that we had two potential mom cats during the course of the week, and neither one uh, happened to work out. So that's okay. Um, I know that now the word is out to Dawes, and so uh, it probably won't be too long. Anyway, it saved me from having to completely clean the room upstairs. It's halfway done. Everything's emptied out of there. It's vacuumed. I probably should wash the rug, and then, uh, then it's ready to put new stuff in. So we know close enough. Uh, as for these kids, they took their first visit to Arista Cats, the uh, the new office of Arista Cats today. Uh, not today, this week, and it was it was great. Oh, let me turn off this fan. It's probably noisy. Um, even if you can't hear it. It probably makes uh, the, the camera work extra hard to hear me. So, um, anyway, we took a visit uh, for their first vaccinations, and they got to see the new office at Aristocats, which is beautiful. I mean, just gorgeous. So uh, that's really nice. And uh, I think that's it. There's really not too much other news right now. We're still working with their mom, and we're pretty successful, and she's rubbing herself all over the toys in such a ridiculous way, because there's catnip in there. Maybe she'll knock some of that stuff down. That's fine. Maybe she'll knock herself down. That's fine, too. Uh, okay, I know it's not super visible on the cameras, and that's a shame, because she is being ridiculous. Um... So we're still working with her. Uh, she can still be pretty spicy. We've mostly learned how to mitigate it, but sometimes she gets, like uh, just before I started the recording, a little bit extra spicy uh, for what is, I have to say, really no no clear reason. Um, you know, there's certain things that seem to set her off, but there's so many of them, I feel like maybe we'll never understand what the real root of it is, and that's okay, as long as we know how to, how to sort of deal with it. And, you know, she can be and is so sweet. By the way, also, just before we started recording, um, she let herself out into the cat run. She knows how to use the cat door there. She went out, she came in. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I'm glad that she gets to do that. I don't have to pop the door open necessarily for her to enjoy it. That even might be something that's contributing to her spiciness factor. Who knows? I think she's going to go back out there right now. Yeah, she's looking. All right. Well, hey, let's uh, let's dive in. Let's uh, let's start opening some stuff. Let's get this rolling. Uh, oh, and right here on top, I have a note. It says, uh, "With love from Alice the Owl," and it is attached to a Brew Cats uh, business card. Brew Cats, of course, you know um, that is uh, Melissa and Perry. That uh, they also foster. They also have a live stream on YouTube of their foster kittens. And right now, they have a very cute class. And I believe, although it wasn't specifically spelled out here, that this is in response to Alice the Owl probably winning the uh, 
the Guess When the Kittens Will Be Born pool that happens on Discord for every mom cat. And the reward for winning that pool is a box of brew cat cookies um, that she makes. But uh, many of the winners have opted to have them sent to me instead. Now, I would show you the bag of cookies, but it arrived uh, Wednesday. And so, of course, there, there aren't any cookies uh, left. Um, I can't. I uh, have no knowledge of what might have happened there. Uh, all I can tell you is there's nothing for me to show you. Sorry. Uh, so, there you go. Thank you so much to Alice the Owl for uh, on Discord for uh, deciding that those cookies uh, should go to me or, uh, or else just uh, getting cookies for me. Uh, either way that it happened, I appreciate it. I actually don't know who won the pool this time. Um, I usually have a vague idea, but I think I forgot to ask this time. So that's my assumption. Okay, that's that. So that's my note and uh, lack of cookies to show you for it. Okay, uh, now we can just start going through boxes. There's no letters this week at all, uh, and that's okay. I, uh, I don't mind that, so I'm going to put this away so that you don't try to walk off with it while we're here doing a mailbag, okay? We'll get back to it later on. Uh, put it away, he said, without any place to put it. I guess if I put it up here, we'll hear it if they find it because it's got that bell on it. All right, so let's just jump in. We're just going to go through the pile. So this is what's on top, and what's on top says... It is a pineapple 33 inch plush cat scratching post and condo. Um, and it's, uh, it appears to be a drop shipment from Chewy. So is there a name on it? There is, oh, it says trouble slash carry. So we know who that means. Uh, that's, uh, uh, yes, uh, trouble and carry. Um, so former uh, KA alum and also Pat MM uh, on Discord uh, probably. You know, maybe, probably, I would assume had some involvement, or maybe they just, you know, learned to use the credit card, and that's fine, too. So many KA alone do. <laughs> Can't complain about that. So, I don't know what this looks like based on the outside, so I wanted to just take a look. It looks like there may be a picture here. I, I'll never get it back in the box if I take it all the way out, so hopefully we don't have to do that. Oh, no, there's not a picture. Well... All right, it'll be a surprise, like the mushroom bed was. The mushroom bed, by the way, that's uh, currently, that everybody has, has written to say how much they like the bright color of it, and I do too. I love it. I think it's great. It's so well made that the mushroom top on that thing in the other room, it has a, like a steel frame inside of it, so it doesn't collapse when kittens climb on it. It'll probably last forever, and even if it doesn't, um, when it eventually dies, that frame would be perfect to put into other beds that don't stand up on their own. Uh, assuming I could fit them over, that would be a real cool idea. So uh, so it's awesome. It's really great. But it was a huge surprise when I opened it and found out how, what bright colors it consisted of. I was really not anticipating that. Uh, and I think that was also from Pat. So this time I had to look to make sure <laughs> that this was, you know, like a pineapple. It is. I can see there's some little green pineapple stuff on top. And it's got this cool, like, uh, it's not exactly corduroy because it's, um, you know, there's a square shape instead of lines. I don't know what you would call that. But otherwise, it's, it's like a corduroy material with, uh, with uh, the nap and the warp and the weft. No, I don't know. That's too technical and probably wrong. So I'm just going to leave it alone now. Uh, but it's real pretty. And that will be a lot of fun for a future mom cat, I think, or, uh, or whatever. That's, you know, that's what the pineapples are about. Although at this point, we got so much pineapple stuff. It might just have to be, a, I don't know, a, a thing. You know, maybe we start to plant pineapples all over the place. That's a little too much pineapple, isn't it? Uh, it's fine, though. It's pineapple. Uh, everything is fine here. So, all right, let's keep rolling. Thank you so much, Trouble and Carrie. And this says uh, Kitten Academy Birdie V on it. Birdie V, a name that I recognize, um, but that might be all that we get to hear about it is that it's Kitten Academy Birdie V. Birdie V, hello. Thank you so much for what says it is chocolate moonshine. It also says, oh, here's a note inside. It also said, uh, what was the thing? It's illegally good. All right, illegally good. Well, what does that mean? Mr. A and Dr. DJ, thanks very much for the Christmas card. Aw, Ari's beautiful. Birdie V, that's so sweet. Thank you so much, Birdie V. Chocolate moonshine, it says artisan truffle bars. Whoa. All right, let's check it out. That sounds crazy. It sounds illegally good. Whoa, it's pretty too. Look at that, chocolate moonshine. I love the little man in the moon motif here on this. Uh, that's pretty cool. 
And then um, even, yeah, well, uh, whatever. Uh, that would be a huge digression that we're not even going to get into. I think it's really cool. I've always loved the sort of moon and stars motif. Uh, anyway, fresh handmade artisan chocolate bars. Look at them. They're so pretty, too. That's going to be super awesome. Wow. Uh, decadent dark chocolate, strawberry, pink champagne, French kiss, black cherry bourbon. That does sound super good. And it says what they are. Oh, it tells how to, it says how to tell which ones are which. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much, Birdie B. I really, that's so sweet of you. Uh, thank you for, for that. I was just starting to feel good post Christmas that uh, my weight is headed in the right direction. So uh, we'll just put a stop to that. <laughs> All right. Uh, what do we got here? Is there a note on the outside of this? No, there's got to be one buried in here somewhere. I think I got it. What is this guy? He looks like a little hummingbird. Or, um, yeah, I think it's, oh, it says jute bug. Hmm, I think that's because he's made of jute, right? That's not a kind of bug, is it? Gosh, now i got to look it up. I should know this kind of thing. He's super cute, though. He looks kind of like a bug or, I mean, I guess a bug because he's got a bug body here. So that must be it. But this is like jute here, right? Isn't that what you call this stuff, this little rope? And then he's got like this fuzzy uh, thorax. And then he's got this little head with uh, a beak, a proboscis, and these long antenna. So clearly not a hummingbird. I don't know why I thought that for a minute. Some kind of bug. He's super cute. And it says... I thought this would be a cute toy in the new kitten room. Otherwise, feel free to use as you see fit. And it's from Frozen Tundra Crew. Frozen Tundra Crew, thank you. I think it's adorable. And by new kitten room, I don't know if you mean the room upstairs for a new mom or if you mean down here, but I'm just going to deploy it now because it is cute. I've never seen it before. This is a whole new toy for us. I'm going to take this little piece of plastic out so DJ doesn't complain. There we go. Well, I got most of it. Meh. Hmm. Let's not swallow that. There we go. I'll put it in there. So it's got a place to live. And I'm also going to take the tag off. Let me use my knife for that. Also a thing that DJ would insist on. Plus, it'll look better in this case. That'll make a real difference. It's got these enough for the, the kittens to play with on it. This is very cute. It's Hearts brand. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Uh, kids? Oh, it's got a rattle. You want this? Oh, what are you looking at? Are you going to go up the wall? Are you about going up the wall? She was just looking up the wall. That was uh, uh, um, Cistern. Wow. I almost called her cilantro. I don't know. Uh, my brain needs to activate. Where's my... I thought I had a coffee in here. Did I leave it over there? Let me grab that too. Go. Okay. Wow. We're off to a good start here. Everything everywhere. Ah, oh, they're carrying around toys now. It's the cutest thing when little kittens carry toys, isn't it? All right, let me double check, make sure everything's rolling, that nobody on Discord is saying I'm doing everything wrong. Uh, you guys can hear me, et cetera, et cetera. I probably should have checked that sooner, but here we are. Yeah, okay, we look good. All right, cool. All right, well, then let's keep rolling. Look at this. This is from Mural. And it's to Thimble. Timmy. Timmy's still over there sort of rolling around and rubbing herself on the cat tree like she loves to do. Loves to mark everything as being hers, I guess. Uh, probably related to her other behaviors, isn't it? Anyway, this is uh, from Mural, it says. And it's got these really cool little cat stickers on it. But the cutest one is the one right here next to Mural's name. It's like a, a cat wearing a, or tattooed or something. It's got really pretty designs, but it's also like a realistic looking cat. This one over here drinking a bubble tea or something. Yeah, that's what that is. So cute. All right. So, two thimble from Mural. Let's find out what we got here. Something in here smells poopy. I hope it's just a farty cat or, you know, the litter box in the next room. Not say me. Oh, look at this. Whoa. This is so cute. Hello, hello. Is it me you are looking for? And it is. There's a little sticker of mural right there. I got a couple of those stickers in my collection too, which is very exciting. And I like how you put the knife guard just over that part so that I wouldn't accidentally cut right through that in the middle. That's sweet of you. Hello. I think that in the last adoption, you know, we got uh, boxes and stuff. Downstairs is where all this stuff gets stored um, and where I sort things out for endowments. And 
uh, we've had this box for a long time that has hello written all over it, just like this that came from Mural in the past. Uh, and it's been holding stuff that was, you know, ready for deployment or endowment, I mean, or whatever it was. I think it was an ocean set of stuff for a while where Ocean, uh, you know, had some of her endowments in there. And then I out. It doesn't matter. The point is, I think that it's, it's I, every time I go down there and look at it, it makes me smile. The hello, hello, it's written all over the box. And uh, uh, now I think it's gone. I think it went to the last adoption, which is, you know, I'm sure they tossed it out, as they should. Uh, it's not, you know, an heirloom or anything, but it's just, it just made me smile, that's all. And seeing it again made me think of it. And this will probably be down there for a while. I get to enjoy it the same way. So uh, let's see, right on top, this is so cute. Right on top we have, as you see fit for future tinies, love Mew with little whiskers. That's so cute. Mew is such a sweetie pie. Also, we have a pen that has a cat and a pineapple on it. Where, where do these things come from? It says Dr. DJ on it. Uh, and she does sometimes wear pins, but to be honest, I'm the one now that is uh, maintaining the pin collection and trying to wear them on my shirts once in a while. I just have to be careful they don't also go through the laundry. So it is a cat on a pineapple. That's so perfect for Dr. DJ. Uh, there's the note right here. Oh, and another pin for me. I see. This one says the Toe Beans Appreciation Club, and it's got three little paws giving like a high five, high four, I guess, uh, and um, and a little heart. Yes, that's so cute. A little heart and the Toe Beans Appreciation Club. That's adorable. All right. So, oh, and some more stickers. Oh, these are so cool. These are cool stickers. Wow. Oh, man, I'm going to need another laptop. Can I tell DJ I need to buy more computers just so I have more places to put stickers? Can I do that? I'm going to do that. That's a great excuse. These are all space-themed cats, but they're all different, and they're all cool. Well, one of them is playing video games, and he looks very angry. He's sitting in between a juice box and a bag labeled treats with his headphones on and a video game controller. That is adorable. And then there's one that's wearing a rainbow space suit. I love it. And... Uh, his helmet is that like a fishbowl. It's got koi in it. If you look real close, it's, it's such cool art. I love that. It's kind of surreal and wonderful. Uh, speaking of, this is a cat constellation. I don't know how well you can see these, but that's fine. I'll take a picture of all of them together. This is like a sort of a line drawing of a cat wearing a spacesuit. Uh, kind of a very robotic spacesuit. Though. It's got little antennas and stuff, like a Jetsons kind of antenna style. And finally, we have a board kitty holding a mouse that he's caught, but it's a computer mouse because he's a computer cat. It makes too much sense. So cool. Oh, my goodness. I can't wait to read this note, though. we got to get to that. I'm going to lay those out. I'll take a picture of those. And I'll put the, the pins here, too, because those are tiny. And that way you guys can see those on Discord. But let's read this. It says, Thimble, girl, chillax. Mr. A is goods people. No need to give spicy love bites and taps for spoogles. Mr. A will always give you so much love and then some, trust me. I know, eventually you will understand because you are a sweetie and wonderful mom cat. I give you 10 out of 10 for making sure your kids stayed in the box when they were tinies and on your bathing skills. Any move enclosed are goodie bags for each of you to bring to your forever homes. I hope you will all enjoy them. Spoogles and pineapples dreams to all love, Mural. That's so sweet. I love it. I love that it's mural uh, writing. That's just adorable. Wow, this binder clip is a fancy one, too. It's got a little pattern on it. All of ours are just so plain. I have to put that someplace. All right, let's take this picture, and uh, we'll go ahead and post it on Discord right now so you guys can see those up close. They're very cool. Here we go. Perfect. Okay. And I know I've already got a couple Mew stickers that have also arrived at uh, my sticker collection. Just use this to hold all these things together. Makes too much sense. And they all, no, I don't want to get anything on the stickers. Okay, let's do it that way. Perfect. Right there. Oh, thank you so much. And as you see, oh, look, there's some Charlie balls attached to it also. That's so great. These are fun. Uh, the little kittens love them. Okay. So let's take a look. These are the wonderful, these, these are like uh, sort of a, a burlap bag. It's a little nicer than burlap. I don't know what you'd call it. Two cistern. And it's got, uh, let's see, I don't want to undo the bow. So there's a wand tied in there. There's some balls, some fun tubes, some springs. Oh, the nice uh, steel version of the door hanging toy that will last a long time. You might have to replace that spring once in a while with that hanger part. Very cool. 
we got one of those, uh, not wicker balls, uh, what do you call them, little tiny, uh, maybe wicker, I don't know. Wow, there's some cool stuff in here. What is this at the bottom? Oh, look at that, a fuzzy kicker. Wow, very fuzzy. It's like a marshmallow kicker. That's very cool. All right, so that's the idea there for Cistern. I love the labels on these, they're so great. I usually, uh, when there's stuff like this, I like to put those in the endowments first, and that way I can look at the label and I go, which pilots for which kitten it helps me out there. So we got one for sister, and one for thimble, one for barrel, and one for silo, of course. Uh, so those are, those, that's, that's so nice of you to do, and the bags are so cute, it's just adorable. I know you put so much work into those mural, uh, little Mew Mew. Uh, thank you for that. We're gonna put these back in here. And then maybe we can toss some other endowments on top of there before we're done and whatever. We'll sort this out. Are uh, those just fit if you're careful about how you put them in there? Okay. This can go into what will become a, a, a general purpose, I think. Yeah, that is, they're all nursing on the tree and it's on the end. It's hardest to see there from the camera. I wonder if I can turn the camera to see it at least a little bit. Oh. Actually, actually, watch this. Aha. I think if we aim camera number one on the cat tree just right through the door, we might have a perfect view of them. Oh, it's got a perfect view of our little kitty climbing the cactus. I can't have both. They're too far apart. <laughs> okay, we'll go for them. There we go. Yeah, well, okay, not perfect, but pretty good. Not going to get much better than that. Shame about that wire being in the view. Is that on the stream? Let me pop it up if it's not. <clears throat> Good enough. Come here. Hey, Barrel. You don't know, do you not know how to get up there? Come over here and hang out with me if you don't know how to get up there. Everybody else is up on the thing with your mom. Come on over here. Come on, we can hang. Well, let's keep going. This is from Sage's Handmaid, and it says it's for Thimble. Maybe it's something for her to take out her aggression on. <coughs> Although, I think we know about Thimble by now. Uh, she doesn't seem to be the biggest on toys in general. Uh, I have seen her play, but you know, another funny thing is I mostly see her play on the stream like everybody else. I don't get to see her play in person very much. Um, so she just uh, she keeps it on the down low when she does. She's always way more interested in either snuggles or spiciness than anything else. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> clear that out. Uh, I know what'll help me clear it out. Here we go. Barrel. <clears throat> Barrel, come here. Okay, or there. Uh, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ. <clears throat> that's not clear yet. I don't want to sound like that while I'm reading you guys. <clears throat> okay, that's going to do it. Hello and Happy New Year. I hope you're both doing wonderfully and winter is being gentle. I can't wait to see the new mom cat who should be arriving at KA today if I time this letter right. Well, you did, but she didn't time her part right, did she? I hope she's fabulous. Who are we kidding? She'll win all our hearts on first sight. This kick money is for Thimble, of course, of course. So this is, again, a Sage's handmade. That Sage like the spice, uh, like the herb, and handmade like made by hand. Uh, and it's uh, Sage's Handmade also on Etsy, and uh, I'm sure you can probably, ooh, wow, that is a lot of catnip to smell. Look at this cute, like, woodlandy green color. How did you know? And it says Thims, Thims, Thims for Thims. Uh, that's so cute, and I love the way that you set it off with some darker olive green here. It's, it's sort of an olivey color. I, I love it. Okay. Uh, the kick bunny is for thimble, of course, and as usual, it is made with sturdy 100% cotton yarn and stuffed with yow and from the field organic catnip and meowy Jane Silverline. I chose green and camel yarn because she's so whip smart and sneaky. If anyone wants to crochet their own, they can find the kick bunny pattern at my Etsy shop, sageshandmade.etsy.com. There are other goodies in the shop as well. Thanks again for all you both do for cats and kittens and for hosting the best place on the internet. Much love, Sage. Thank you, Sage. That is so sweet of you. And yes, the Discord is the best place on the internet. So technically, I think it's Discord hosting it. And uh, we're, just, we're just lucky to have all of you there. Uh, it wouldn't be the best place on the internet if it was just me and Dr. DJ. 
So it's really all of you that make that happen. Um, I love it. I love the colors. I hope she loves it too. I just I want to say to anybody that looks at this and thinks it's adorable and thinks cats don't like it based on Bindle's uh, possible future behavior, uh, definitely don't read anything into that. Uh, that's just what I would expect from a thimble. You know, not everything is a hit for everybody. And mom cats, uh, this mom cat, not too big on play. But then again, uh, maybe I can use it as a way to distract her when she needs a distraction. Oh, it matches her eyes so well. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. I didn't bring my camera over here. I'm just gonna have it. I'm, I'll, I'll put it away I probably after mailbag and her endowments. But <clears throat> I'm gonna leave it over there with her for a minute. <laughs> See what she has to say, say about that. Maybe it'll get her up and moving. Who knows? Okay. Thank you so much, Sage. Uh, that is very sweet of you. Okie dokie. Um, the Kitten Academy. All right. Well, no other clues on the outside of the box. Let's find out. If we can. <clears throat> Ooh, we got the St. Louis Post Dispatch. That's going to be fun. Uh, with some guy carrying a giant stuffed bear. Taxidermist apprentice Dirk Tucker. What a name, too. Wow. Dirk Tucker. I love it. Uh, carry a grizzly bear out for a ride home. Uh, this, this is why local papers are the best. I guess I'll show you this <laughs> guy carrying a giant bear. Exactly what it is. <laughs> what a great photo, too. Uh, okay, that's great. So, um, is there going... Oh, there is a note. I took it. I said it right here. The note, okay, to read on stream. Perfect. Okay, let's do that. Wow, Dirk Tucker. That's one of those names. That's just That reminds me of Douglas Adams two different ways. One is that, of course, Dirk Gently is that the books that he wrote about the detective. Great name. Um, the other way, though, is that in Hitchhiker's Guide, there was a character named Hot Black Desiato. And uh, I'm pretty sure I read that that was the name of an actual person that he liked so much um, that he asked them if he could use it for a character. Uh, and it is. That's a pretty great name. Uh, better than Dirk, even. Okay. It says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, greetings from the Midwest. Yes, uh, I miss the Midwest so much. I started as a casual watcher of the Kitten Academy back in 2019. I just happened to be on a staycation when Bebop had her kittens, and from that point on, I was hopelessly hooked. Watching the Kitten Academy gives me so much joy that I can't thank you enough for all that you do. The Saturday morning mailbag has become my happy routine, much like Saturday morning cartoons were for me as a kid. I fall in love with each and every kitten and mom cat, and I'm always sad to see them go. But there's always another litter to focus on instead. I had to pause my my note. Uh, I had to pause writing my note to watch you move Thimble in her tiny tubs downstairs. Anyway, enclosed are a few small items for immediate deployment, or as you see fit. You will also find the local newspaper and a local favorite, a gooey butter cake. Oh, wow! That's exactly what it is. Look at that. It is a gooey butter cake. Oh my goodness, that sounds like something that DJ's probably never had and is going to love. I have had those, and they are uh, gooey butter cakes indeed. Um, that's going to be so fun. I don't know if you had gooey butter cake when you lived in the Midwest, but it's legendary here in St. Louis. This one is from the lovely local grocery store chain that I work for. I hope you enjoy it. We're expecting a snowstorm here later this evening, so I better get going. Love, Eileen. Eileen, thank you so much. I can't tell you how much I miss the Midwest. I, I really do. You know, I lived there my whole life, honestly, uh, you know, between uh, uh, mostly just in northern Illinois, the Chicago suburbs, um, you know, with a short stint in Chicago proper and a short stint in Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, and other than that, uh, I've never really even been out of the Midwest uh, to speak of. Um, like you could add up all the time I've spent outside the Midwest to just, uh, you know, a few weeks, honestly. So uh, moving out here has been a big change and as beautiful and lovely as it is, uh, if I had the opportunity, I think I would move back in a heartbeat. Um, you know, it was, it, it was so, it, it is, it's, again, it's beautiful. It's so nice for a change. It's a, it's a wonderful place to see. Um, 
but I do, I miss the open views and the sunsets in the Midwest. You don't get to see too much of that here because it's always obscured by hills and trees and things, which are lovely too, uh, but, but I, I miss that. There's literally not an open field within 20 miles of us. Uh, I mean, you know, aside from sort of, you know, man-made ones, but uh, otherwise it's all just uh, parking lots. Parking lots is what I'm thinking of. That's what you call that. Yes, there's parking lots. Other than that, you just don't get any open spaces. Uh, I miss it. I do miss it. Okay. Anyway, here we have a uh, donut and coffee, a classic, and we have a little cat, a little mouse rather, that is also a little tiny blanket. He's adorable. The kittens uh, will love that. And little kitten crunchies. Those are perfect. The kittens are going to love all of those, Eileen. Thank you so much. Thank you for the St. Louis Post Dispatch. Thank you for the gooey butter cake. I cannot wait. Uh, and. Um, uh, I'm sure, uh, again, I, that sounds like the kind of thing I, I've never really thought about it, but it really feels like something that DJ is going to love. So I'm excited to try that on her as well. Um, yeah, okay, that's it. Uh, I'm excited to read the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, too. I love that bear. Okay, let's keep rolling. What am I going to reach next? It looks like box one of two from... Well, we know who this is from. This is from uh, Ruth and Bob. Ruth and Bob, who had adopted Court. And two boxes. My goodness, that's very generous. Uh, let's see. This. Oh, <laughs> I think I see some shirts. Wow. Uh, okay, that's an interesting brand name. It says harddaddy.com. Uh, interesting. But uh, let's take a look here. It says um, something, the with aloha, flow with the spirit. Ah, I see. Does that say time? Tim? Time. Time. Okay, well, we, comma, bring the summer atmosphere back to the city from the mountains and the seas. <laughs> I, uh, I absolutely love things that sound like they were like machine translated uh, or just poorly translated. Wow, it is a Hawaiian shirt. But it is, uh, a, but, and you know I love Hawaiian shirts, a uh, Hawaiian shirt that has uh, a cat and that's got Christmas. It's a Christmas Hawaiian shirt. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, uh, that's an interesting conundrum because I know that DJ does not love it when I wear my Hawaiian shirts. I, I have to wear them all the time. And uh, she, she's not the biggest fan of them, although she does, she says that I should tuck them in. If I tuck them in, she would be fine with them, but that's not how you wear a Hawaiian shirt, so I don't know. Maybe I can try it for her at some point. Uh, I don't see a note here, by the way, but maybe we'll find one as we go from uh, Bob and Ruth, but that is who this is from, Bob and Ruth. Thank you so much. That shirt's lovely, too. I love the gold red and the, the tuxy cat on it. It really is going to be a test for DJ because she loves Christmas, she loves Tuxie Cats, and she does not love Hawaiian shirts. Uh, so here you sent a lovely soft blanket. This one's got a nice, um, uh, uh, what is the word for the, uh, the little uh, like ribbon that you wrap around the edge of a blanket and finish it? Um, oh, my goodness. Uh, all my knowledge that I used to own is, has left me. Uh, but anyway, it's nicely finished for a blanket. That's going to be lovely. Uh, this one here is for Cistern. I see that. It says Cistern right here. It's a beautiful, gray, soft, goofy blanket that she's going to love. This is a big, soft blanket, a red one for Thimble. And she is going to, oh, oh, and it's got Thimble embroidered on it. Oh, and that's a lovely font with a big T. Thimble. Oh, it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. Wow. Thank you for that. That's, that's lovely. Oh, it's just the way the light caught it. I almost thought there might be something that was like a red embroidering around the name, but no, I think that was just an illusion. This seems like a harness. In fact, it is a cat harness. Uh, it's got a little extra part on it that I don't recognize, though. Um, it's got, I see the, you know, it's got the collar end. It's got the thing that goes around the body. It's got one extra loop. Hmm. Might have to look this one up. Uh, but it is a harness and a leash. This leash might be really nice even just by itself. The harness looks great too. Uh, but the, here's the note all the way at the bottom. The leash, uh, I've often thought, I've only got the retractable leash that I can find. I don't have any like, kitten-sized leashes. And I thought it might be nice if she just dragged the leash around with her that way uh, when I'm watching her, you know, wearing the harness. That way I can grab the leash, but I don't have to follow her around with one, you know, 
You know what I'm trying to say. So, aw, oh, thank you so much. This is sweet. Oh, Ruth, you don't, okay. Well, we'll talk about that. Um, okay, uh, and uh, your note says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, enclosed are a few things for Thimble and her kittens, as well as some treats. Oh, that must be what's in this. And the replacement basket to replace the one that came broken. Oh, uh, maybe that's in the other box. Happy to hear a new mom cat may be on the way soon. Always so exciting to see a mom uh, arrive, even though that means the correct cl current class is growing toward graduation. With much gratitude, Ruth and Bob. Ruth and Bob, you're wonderful people. It is so sweet of you to do that. Yes, I don't know if anybody else noticed this, but as you were watching us open that, that lovely Coca-Cola um, polar bear basket that you sent, uh, you noticed that the, the the piece of wood that makes his uh, scarf had had cracked at the bottom. It's just a little tiny crack that I definitely could have repaired. But you said no, and I so I heard from a lot of other people that that the brand that had made that uh, basket is one that everybody knows as being like the, one of the fanciest basket brands in the universe. Could explain how they got the Coke partnership, I guess, for that. Uh, but. Uh, yeah, so everybody was like, oh, man, that is a nice, you know, very nice basket. And uh, you apparently thought it was too nice to have sent with uh, even the tiniest little flaw. So uh, I'm assuming that the other box will contain the one that, that hasn't got that particular issue. And we will find out. But, you know, you really didn't have to do that. It's very sweet of you. Uh, also, a, a handful of treats. We have all kinds of, we've got churu, we got the lickable bisque. And we got like a chicken uh, filet here, also from Hinaba, the Churu people. Those are great treats all around. I'm going to put those uh, in, a, in a treat box. I guess we'll just use, well, Sage's box is going to get Sage's toy back in that bet. We'll put it here with the generic stuff for now. We'll sort that out. Thank you so much for, for all of that and this, this thimble. Oh my goodness. I need to write, oh, it's, you wrote them on it. Okay, and cistern. And then KA, as needed, we'll put in the generic use. Uh, general use box over here. There we go. Perfect. And your note. We'll set this back here and let's just jump right into your second box and see if it is indeed the Coca-Cola uh, basket or if it is something else entirely. It's such a nice basket too. Some of the rest of treasure I think every Christmas. Uh, let's see here. This says barrel. And it's another gray one just like the other. And this one says silo, and I know this, this one, uh, probably all of them have a little paw print on it. It's the only one that's visible, though. Interesting. little embroidered paw print for Silo the boy. Silo spent uh, all night in the uh, in the spa with us. He, he spent the night up there overnight. He likes to get way down under the blankets with DJ, like down by her feet, and then uh, I think bite her toes. <laughs> uh, whereas... Um, the previous night it was barrel and she slept like mostly on our pillow or next to our shoulders all night so they each have their own preference uh, but all night long i started i started with silo night in my head and um uh, i couldn't make that work though because i just i couldn't even make the next line into anything appropriate um but then uh in the morning i woke up and just stuck in my head was uh only the lonely except it was only silo only uh, and I guess because he was up in the spa with us and uh, I think it was custard last night and nobody else. So only Cy Lonely. Uh, and I don't know why. I don't know why. And now it's, it's really it's stuck in my head. Though. That song really gets stuck in my head. Uh, I don't know why. Okay, let's check it out. This is such a cool basket. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's got another little bear in it, too. And yes, this one did make it without any damage to the thing. It says Coca-Cola. It's signed uh, by uh, MJG. And it says Longaburger. That's the name of the company I couldn't think of in Dresden, Ohio. Uh, and it's got a little Coca-Cola ornament in it. That's so sweet. I don't, I don't know if that's like, – that must come with it, right? Because um, uh, I think there was one in the other one too. So maybe I need to send that back. You let me know. Uh, that way we don't get it wrong. It's a cute little ornament, though. He's wearing a sweater. It says Coca-Cola. It's so perfect. Okay, so we can do that. And uh, this is the lid for it, too. I'm not even going to unwrap it quite yet because I don't want to risk ruining everything myself. So I'm going to very carefully put this all back. It's very nice. Oh, it's so lovely. And there we go. 
just like that. Careful, careful. Right back in here. And uh, this this is a, oh, a packing slip from Lungeberger. Okay, very cool. So it does tell us, yes, the ornament does appear to be part of the package. Oh, there's an authenticity card and a romance card in the basket. I wondered what the papers were. How cool is that? So uh, thank you so much for that. That is really, really nice of you. You know, it occurs to me that uh, almost all of the nice stuff that, that we have has come from uh, people who send it to us from Mailbag, and I really do appreciate that. Although DJ would want me to remind everybody at this point that we prefer things to be sent for the kittens, so, which is true. Um, but, you know, I think of um, um, just uh, so many of the nice the decorations that we have that we just would never think to buy for ourselves. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you all. Thank you specifically, Bob and Ruth, though. Okay, sip of the coffee. A couple more boxes here. This is going to be a real short mailbag, it turns out. I thought from the pile of boxes that uh, it wasn't going to go quite so quickly, but here we are almost at the end. Just two more boxes. Uh, I guess I didn't expect that box to be mostly the replacement long, long burger. Is that how they say it? I've never heard it pronounced, so I wouldn't know. All right. Well, oh, this is obviously, by the way, I should have mentioned, this is from the B&B &B Sisters. I think you guys know you recognize the white box with the little stickers on it. We all recognize that now. And this time, the B&B &B Sisters have sent... Uh, wow, oh, some blankets, of course, as always. Wow, this one is so soft. This is not the, this is like a knit, um, uh, like a chenille almost, but it's it's not quite a chenille, but you can tell it's like a machine knit. Uh, really pretty with these little cat silhouettes on it in yellow and white. Uh, there's got to be a note here somewhere. There it is. Okay, right on top. Good. We found it. Here we've got uh, what looks like an oil painting of some kitties enjoying licking uh, the cream from a tea set. That's very cute. And it says, <laughs> it says, there's a picture, I think, of a big black cat sticking his head into this very box, uh, which is also super cute. There we go. I'll put that right there. It says, hello to all at Kitten Academy. We picked this card because we thought the cat and kittens looked like Thimble and her kittens. Oh, well, they do, and I guess that is the mom cat in back, and there's even one black cat and two tabbies with a tabby mom. Wow. Wow, I should have noticed that because it's so uh, unusually perfect. So we've also enclosed a picture of our cat, Athena, inspecting the box and giving it her stamp of approval. Enclosed are the usual items to be used as you see fit, along with two cases of food. Thank you again for all you do. We know you hear that a lot, but it is true. The B&B &B sisters, Beatrice and Bernadette. Thank you so much, Beatrice and Bernadette. That card is really special. I can't believe how much it really is. These kittens, that's, that's something. All right, that is something. So uh, let's go through uh, the usual, you say, although they're, they're always different, the usuals. It's a bunch of toys, blankets, uh, treats usually, and some fancy feast. It's so nice of you to do. Here we have a uh, pumpkin spice and apple cider uh, set. It says, I'm stuffed with gratefulness. Okay, <laughs> well, uh, gratefulness, I guess, is one way to fill a cat toy. Here we have uh, two mice that have crazy tails with all kinds of things, ribbons and bells and feathers and charlie balls on strings. My goodness. And the mice themselves have really cool patterns, including this... Uh, fan design that I recognize from our bowls. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, those are very cute. Okay, here we have nip chips, catnip flavored potato chips. Uh, it's cute because there's one potato chip sticking out of the bag made of felt and it's crinkly. The whole thing's crinkly like a potato chip bag, which cats love. I can see how they got that idea. Very cute. Uh, we've got some more mice with fun little Teletubby bellies uh, with various patterns on them and also different tails. There we go. We got a bird. Uh, it is loose. There's a loose bird in here. We got a second set of those same mice. Those are so cool. We have a chicken and waffles. No, just waffles. Sorry. Okay. Waffle and maple syrup. I was expecting chicken there somehow. I just added the chicken. It's just part of the deal. It is a uh, catnip pressed waffle with, made out of like compressed catnip. You know how it is. And a, uh, a bottle of maple syrup, obviously. 
Uh, how cute. That's a cute little set right there. Uh, Nala. Nala Instagram's most famous cat. Oh, Instagram Nala underscore cat. Bunny kickers. Well, she is a very cute cat. Wow, with little blue eyes, uh, even though she appears to be an adult. So it's got her name on it, and uh, one of them has her picture, and another has some sort of abstractly colored kittens. Those are cute. Wow, branding for an Instagram famous cat. She must be Instagram's most famous cat. I think you, there's only one position that gets that. Uh, that's super cute. Here we've got corduroy mice, big, fat corduroy mice that each have a silver vine um, tail. The, the tail is a, a piece of rope that's been drilled through a big stick of silver vine. They are going to love that, and I bet that's going to be so fun for them to carry around and chase. Uh, three of them are corduroy, and two of them are like a soft, um, I don't know, uh, something like corduroy, but with no um, lines. I don't know what you call anything today, so we're just going to keep rolling. Uh, <laughs> here we've got a bunch of crinkle balls. We've got a bag of fish. I love these patterns. These are so classic retro uh, patterns. That's beautiful. Those are beautiful. And uh, the muted color and everything, lovely. Those would go lovely in any room. They would go lovely in this room. Here we have some baby blankets, flannel blankets. Uh, with uh, One of them has what appears to be moose and koala bears and a couple birds and things. It seems like a weird combination. Uh, the other ones have uh, more abstract shapes. Here we go. A uh, bag of much smaller, much more realistic fish. Yes. With like a sardine and uh, I don't know, whatever this guy is. Oh, each one with a little rattle in it. That's great. Yes, the cats will love those. I also see a goldfish and some other colorful things. Those are going to be super fun for them. Here we have a, oh, don't tell DJ, we got a frog and a snake. All right, she's not a big fan of the reptiles, but this snake is very interesting material. Uh, I don't know exactly what it is. Maybe some sort of a woven uh, nylon-y thing. Hmm. And he's got these crazy snake eyes, too, and a tongue. Wow, okay, it's a good thing DJ's not here for mailbag today. Uh, but that will be great in someone's endowment. We obviously can't deploy that around the house. Nala, the most famous cat, also has these little catnip filled bow ties. They are adorable. Wow. Super adorable and crinkly and pink and uh, purpley, lavender. Beautiful. We have finally, uh, I say finally, there's also two cases of the fancy feast in here, which will go straight to the kitchen. But uh, we also have this blanket that's covered in these cute little cats that each say something. Meow, purr, pet me, love me. Not impressed. I require attention. Biscuit time. Uh, I don't know how many of those you can see. Who, me? They each have a little different thing. Cuddles, please. Feed me. That's so cool. And they're cute, too. And the lavender back. Uh, that's beautiful. That would fit pretty well in the next room. If uh, I think we're, we've got enough blankets in there at the moment. But with, uh, great colors to, to match with some things around the academy. Uh, for now, I guess... Let's see, this should probably go in here with the food, and this should probably go in here with the to be deployed or used, I guess. Okay, actually, I should split that up. I should take the food out of here and start using this big box for those things. Let's just make that change real quick. Here, there's your Fancy Feast chicken pate, exactly the right thing. Everyone here still gets fed the Fancy Feast chicken feast classic pate. Fancy Feast has so many different kinds of food. Um, but uh, that's the one that we feed everybody at the Academy. Uh, it turns out that as far as wet foods go, it's actually a, a pretty good food. I know a lot of people would turn their nose up at Fancy Feast, and I know I've said that so many times, but it's worth explaining once in a while to people that are relatively new. Uh, that, uh, you know, there was a time when even I would have been like, Fancy Feast? Come on, I'm not going to feed my cats Fancy Feast. Uh, but... Uh, our vet, Dr. Katz, pointed out that it, as far as those foods go, it actually is one of the foods that is uh, very high in protein and very low in carbs, which is exactly what you would want in a cat food. Uh, and also, I, I believe it's uh, still grain-free. There's no grains in it, even though they don't advertise it that way. Of course, uh, it's only um, the only ones I ever see advertised as grain-free are the ones that are trying to slide by with things like peas and uh, potatoes. Uh, or even flax, uh, which I believe is a grain. 
I know I've seen that, uh, but peas and potatoes and carrots and things, and I'm sure they make up uh, something that, that that cat needs or that the food needs, or surely they're not just filler, uh, but it seems so deceptive to be like grain-free. Oh yeah, it's full of potatoes and peas. Uh, come on now. Uh, so the, you get none of that from Fancy Feast. Uh, what, what you do get is maybe some unpronounceable ingredients, uh, which, you know, whatever. I believe uh, science has really brought us some great things, so I'm fine with that. Uh, but it is, it's, uh, it's, it's, the protein content is uh, fantastic for a wet food, and, um, and also the carb content is, uh, is good. It's, like I said, exactly what you would want. So that's why we do it, even though, uh, you know, you might think Purina Fancy Feast, meh. Uh, it's good. It's good stuff. Have you even tried it from time to time? Believe me, I have it because you always end up getting some, you know, like it'll end up on your uh, fingers or whatever. And uh, I, for one, I can't resist tasting things when they when they come that way just to see. Uh, it tastes surprisingly fishy for a chicken food, but that's okay. Uh, not great, by the way. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, if you're looking for something to eat for dinner tonight, try something else. Uh, okay, well, I, this appears to be a giraffe. What did I just open? Oh, it's also from Trouble and Carrie. I think they said something about having sent a giraffe. Uh, and that's exactly what it is. I think I recognize the design. Uh, and you might recognize the design as well as having been uh, one that we deployed as a horse once upon a time. And I think even as a unicorn at once upon a time. So it's a big tube on two legs with a long neck and a head. Uh, so it is... Uh, a giraffe shape, and it's even got a tail that has a little toy hanging from it. I remember that from the unicorn. I think it might have a longer neck than the horse or the unicorn, but you get the idea. Um, and it has a giraffe pattern, uh, the typical giraffe pattern for the body. But what's cool is even the neck and head, the neck and the, the legs are patterned like this. How cute is that? Uh, so, and you get the idea, this is the, the body is the same as the head here, and this has got a big fuzzy nose. He's so cute. Oh, that's such a cute head. Uh, any of kids would love this. So I don't know exactly who or when we will deploy it, but, uh, thank you so much. Trouble and Carrie, uh, that is, uh, that is, that is so sweet of you. That and the pineapple, that's a lot of beds for us. So, um, thank you very, very much. Uh, and that was it. That was mailbag. My goodness, that seems like it was short. I guess it wasn't all that short. Uh, but no, 10 minutes short of the hour. That is kind of short. I'll tell you what, uh, we've got something a little fun that I wanted to do, but these kids do seem sleepy. So uh, we'll do it a little later today. I know DJ is looking forward to the, uh, the soccer pitch. I know you guys saw it if you were eagle-eyed, uh, so it's not that big of a secret anymore. But And also, when we, when we bought it, we were talking about it on the stream at the time where uh, DJ said, we finally ought to buy them a, a little soccer field to play with their electronic ball on next time you get it out. And I said, yeah, that's a great idea. Let's get a rug, make it cheap though. And uh, so she did and it arrived and it's been upstairs uh, trying to straighten out. I don't know if it'll ever get completely flat until I wash it uh, with the rug cleaner, but I wasn't ready to do that yet. Anyway, she tried to bring it down here first thing this morning. I said, no, 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 let's wait because I got to go get mail and all that stuff. And she forgot about mailbag. Uh, but as soon as these kids are ready to get up and play, I'm sure that's going to be on the list for today. Um, and until then, I've got plenty of things to keep me busy. Uh, first of which is going to be clearing this stuff out. So thank you all so much for joining me for Mailbag today. Thank you for everything. It's wonderful. I love all the stuff for the kittens most of all. That's, that's what we would definitely encourage people to do. Uh, I always say, if you want to send things for me, uh, my favorite things are just handwritten letters and notes. I, just, I love to, to just hear from you. Uh, or if you want to send something that you didn't write, then the local paper is always a great thing, especially the ones with a lot of advertising in them. A lot of those are even free just, you know, because of the advertising. And uh, local ads are always entertaining. I, I just, they're endlessly entertaining um, and really sort of tell you something about the area. I think that you, nobody would say explicitly, but uh, you can read between the lines, you know, and find out uh, either what's important to people or just how the people that are advertising there think is important to people. Uh, it's fun. It's, it's entertaining uh, for me. So that's what I say. But uh, that doesn't mean that we don't appreciate all of it, including the cake and the chocolate. Oh, my goodness. And the, the beautiful, lovely baskets, the decor. Um, I was thinking uh, earlier, I think the name that I couldn't come up with is Lucia, uh, who had sent those, those beautiful uh, pearl, like, like the, I think they were 
maybe uh, they were they must have been glass. They were huge. They looked like seashells uh, that were giant. That were at the old house, and they they didn't survive the move. I guess I didn't pack them carefully enough. And I just I feel so badly about it. Uh, but you know, when I say nice things that people have sent that are just beautiful to deck with decor, uh, those come to mind every time. And uh, and you know many other things too. And I, I don't want to get too much into it, but uh, I do want to say thank you so much to Bob and Ruth and everybody. Uh, much appreciated. Okay, uh, all right, time, time for me to get all this stuff put where it belongs, see if the kittens are going to wake up now or later, and then we will have the archive. They really seem pretty passed out up there, though. But I don't know where uh, Beryl went. I think she went back in the other room and then just was hanging out by herself because she couldn't get up on the cat tree or didn't know how or something. I mean, I know she could. She's more than capable. Mm. Anyway. Mom laid down right next to the sages toy, but maybe I'll leave it out for a little while. Should I leave this out for a little while? See if you decide to play with it or not? I'm going to take the note off and put it in the box, and then we'll set the box out here, and then we can make that decision. Now, the Oh, look at you sleeping up here. Let me show you where the family is. If you can get to the top of the cage, you can definitely get up anywhere in that cat tree. Here, you want to sit with your brother and sister right there? Just like that. All right, so this says thems. Uh, where did I put Sage's box, though? There it is. This one right here. I'll set this one on the counter, and then uh, when she decides not to play with that, uh, I can put it in her endowment. She will get another chance later on. There you go. This needs to go upstairs, and this stuff needs to go various places. Some of this goes upstairs, so yes, that's some good stuff to keep together. Faculty's right here waiting to run into this room. Maybe I should put her in harness on so they can. Or maybe I should just move them back to their room for the rest of this nap. Yeah, what do you think? Oh, wow. Well, they are napping. Let's uh, let's move them back to the room. And I'm glad that they're napping out here uh, because I want them to start expanding their territory, but if they are just napping, the fact it's all at the door, it's going to be a lot safer to put them in their room for now. So let's do that. Get up here. There you go. Settle down. Poor Beryl, I just took her out of there, and now I'm going to put her right back where she was. And she just settled down. She's like, okay, this is cool. Instantly went back to sleep up there. I'm going to turn that camera and put it on for everybody.
All right, it's night. You can go wherever you want. I know you're all dying to come in and participate for mailbag. I know. Well, you check everything over, okay? It is. I'm just cleaning it up. Yep. Still got to go downstairs. Damn, there's a wine shirt I got. Oh no, I think you might like this one. What? Yeah. This guy has a Christmas barrel. Oh, here, try this. I thought you would like this. Yeah, I think that's going to be your thing. It is. It's a gooey cake, though. Yeah, I don't know when I'm going to ship this exactly, but I'll promise I'll try to do it soon. I'm just going to put it out where I can't stop looking at it. General to generic sounds wrong. Uh, who's still a barrel? Uh, the barrel's just been stolen twice in a row and is trying so hard to sleep right now. You oh. can steal her if you want. Actually, they're all. Yeah. So. She was trying so hard to, to get some sleep in, and I picked her up and moved her out here, and then I changed my mind yeah. and moved them all back in. I'm sure she's black. Got a big old giraffe in here. <coughs> giraffe, general use. Made up a bed. Oh, wow, well, that was technically a note. Hi, Maggie. Do you have to sit right on that? This is the brand name for that Hawaiian shirt. Oh,
Is the sound on? Yeah, I think so. Probably right in there, but I can wrap up mail. I can turn it off and put everything in the other room. Give me one sec. All right, things aren't technically cleared out yet, but they will be in a minute. Thanks to everybody for everything. Rest assured. Rest assured. Please rest and please be assured.